Do you think they'll know that this is the third video we filmed today? Or do you think because I changed my shirt and took down my hair that I bamboozled them? Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm Andy and I am going to do something today that honestly I'm ashamed to do. I have rediscovered makeup that BoxyCharm gave me probably months ago. Honestly, I don't remember when I got most of these. And I totally forgot that I owned them. And now that I found them again, I realize that they're magical and I should have been using them from the start, but I did not do that. I feel like this is one of those issues you have when you only spent too much money on one thing. Like if my makeup collection were not so extensive, then I would use these more frequently and they should be used more frequently because they're beautiful and they're great products. So that being said, I'm coming to terms with my addiction and I'm trying to confront it head on by not forgetting about the stuff that is quality. So these products all came from my BoxyCharms in different months. Hey BoxyCharm, you gonna sponsor me yet or what? Anyway, let's jump into, <laughs> I don't even know what months these came from. That's the sad thing is because I've had it for so long. I think I can kind of remember when, but not really. I say that, but not really. Like only the ones that are pretty frequently, they're pretty recent, will I remember. So. The first thing I want to talk about, this is what inspired me to make this video. It is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. And literally last night, I went to bed at seven o'clock because I had gone to work early and I had to go to work early today. I decided I was gonna go to bed early. I woke up at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., wide awake. And I was like, what am I gonna do? I online shopped and I played some games on my phone and then I took a shower and I was like, well, I took a shower. Since I just cleaned my skin, let's go ahead and put this night serum on it and see how it works. And oh my gosh, it was great. Like at first I was kind of uncertain because, and I'll show you as I'm explaining it. This is what it looks like. Just a nice little pump bottle, right? And it's a really good size. I mean, it's, it's boxy charm, so it's full size. And I pumped just a little bit on my hands and I put it on my face and I had like this one kind of like patchy red area and it burned and I was like, no, thank you. But then after it calmed down, it made my face feel really smooth and it looked glowy. So I was like, all right, maybe I can get behind this. And the whole idea behind it is you sleep in this and then you wash it off in the morning before you put on your makeup. Y'all, I woke up like four hours later because I had to get up at 4 a.m. But I woke up four hours later and my skin looked beautiful. I mean, beautiful. I was like, all those intensive skincare regimes that I've done for you guys, they have never made my skin look that nice. And I was like, why have I not been using this? And part of the answer, I guess, is because I don't shower regularly enough to use a night serum every night. Yikes. But, Honestly, I think it's more that I just forgot about it and I forgot until I watched another video where somebody was unboxing their boxy charm and talking about it and I was like, oh yeah, I have that. Honestly, very excited that I've discovered this because now that I know it, it's definitely gonna get used more. You guys know that I like to do my intensive skincare re regimes and, and honestly, like, I keep saying regimes. That's the wrong word, it's regimens. I'm stupid, I'm so sorry. But you guys know that I like my intensive skincare regimens and this I think is gonna be a really good asset to have to help kind of neutralize my skin after I've abused it for so long, which we all know I do. So that's a great one, glad I found that guy again. The next one I'm gonna do is the, no, don't roll away. It's rolled away. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is the No Pore Blem Prime Essence Oil, which is from Touch and Soul. This was a couple months ago in the Boxy Charm. It is a face primer, it's got this really cool like it kind of looks like a little syringe top on it. And it literally is a water, like a priming water is what I would call it. Not like a spray mist, but it, you just drop it on. I used it this morning. Um, I really liked it. I was very impressed with it. It's kind of a lightweight primer. Um, I know sometimes, uh, especially with like blurring sticks or 
Um, the oil-based primers where they're meant to go in and fill your pores, they can kind of feel, I mean, they feel interesting, they don't feel bad, but they just feel a little bit heavier and they feel like they're kind of, you know, in there like doing their job, clogging your pores to make you have a smooth finish. This really didn't feel like that. It was um, very lightweight, but still did a good job of like making my application process for the foundation much easier. And uh, I think that I've been underutilizing it, definitely. So that's why I featured it in this video. I'm not sure I'm gonna love it as much as I love the Pharmacy Night Serum, but I definitely think that I need to be using it more. So that's why I included that one in there. I'm gonna do two palettes and I'm gonna do really the product that is like the best thing in the world that I've been not using anywhere near enough at the end. So the next one I'm gonna do is from Ace Beaut Beauté. I don't, I don't know. It's got like an apostrophe over it, so it's like, maybe it's French. I don't know. Maybe it's Ace Beauté. I don't know. I don't know. But it's the Grandiose Palette. So it comes in this very pretty black and gold, nice palette. And then you open it up. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't used it. I've used it a little bit. You can kind of tell. But I don't know why I have not used this more because every single color in here are the colors that I go for. It's the reds and the pinks and the kind of light browns with the golds and the shimmers. This is me in a palette. And BoxyCharm was like, hey, I'm sending this to you one month. And I was like, cool. And I used it probably twice. And then I lost it in my BoxyCharm drawer and I haven't used it since. So I pulled this guy out because you know what? He just needs to be used more because he's beautiful. And I'm sorry for neglecting him. I feel like honestly, I should apologize to all of my makeup at some point because I feel like most of them get neglected. It's story time. So, I was perusing the Ulta website the other day because I have the app on my phone and so when I'm bored, I just pull it up and I look for makeup because I, I hate my money and I wanna spend it all on makeup. And I stumble across, I stumble across, that's the word, I stumble across this palette and I go, wow, that's got some beautiful shades in there. I really like this palette. I would own that palette. I should own that palette, but it was $36. And I was like, I just spent a bunch of money. So I didn't put it in my cart and it wasn't on sale. So I was being good. Y'all, when I decided to do this video, I was going through my makeup and I was like, I'm sure I can pull out something that has been neglected. That's beautiful. That works well. I kid you not. I pulled out the palette I was looking at it is the pure festival palette and I was going to re-buy it because I forgot I owned it. What is wrong with me? There has to be something wrong with me. So yes, so I realized that um, that was probably the moment where I had the biggest issue with my problem and I really had to come to terms with how, how bad I am about my makeup sometimes. So I didn't buy it again, thankfully. Uh, I guess if I had, I would have at some point realized that I had two of them. Hopefully I would not have used the second one and maybe could have given it away. I don't know, but I almost bought it. It was a close call. But this is the palette that we've been talking about, the palette in question. It is the Pure Festival palette. Um, I think they did it around the time Coachella was happening. So that everybody was trying to look for those like cool festival looks. But it's just got these really pretty color. It's, I think what draws me to this palette is that it has three really nice neutral shades. Um, a dark brown, a kind of reddish brown, and then like a really light, light, light tan brown. And then it's got two vibrant colors, one in a matte and one in a glitter. And then it's got all of these kind of different glitter colors. So you've got like all these neutral glitter colors and then you've got these two that look like they're just almost pressed loose glitter. <sighs> it's just such a pretty palette. I still, I looked it up on Ulsa's website to make sure that I was not mistaken. It's the same exact palette, I promise. $36 is the retail value. And even online, like the pictures of it just look gorgeous. So I definitely need to infiltrate this into my look more. You guys know that I love my glitters, I love my shimmers, and I love my bright colors. So why I haven't been using it, I don't really know. Um, it also, as if this beautiful eyeshadow palette wasn't enough, it also came with like a little endurance eyeshadow primer pouch. Um, it's called the Pure Get a Grip. So there's like an added bonus to it. Yeah. Oh, I just hit the mic. Oops, sorry. Now, 
this you guys have seen me use you guys have seen me talk about this is the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. I'm not gonna go into it because I've talked about it in like five videos now. This was in one of my Ipsies. I completely forgot about it. I literally pulled it out of the bottom of my BoxyCharm drawer. I said Ipsy, I meant BoxyCharm, sorry BoxyCharm. Um, but it was in one of my BoxyCharms. I pulled it out of the bottom of my BoxyCharm drawer. And I was like, this looks like it could be useful. And then I tried it and I was like, no, this is life altering. This is not useful. This is changing me as a person. So all this being said, I have discovered I really need to go into my makeup collection more. I know that there are things that get neglected. I know there are things that I've had for a long time or things that I haven't even really had for that long of a time that I just have never really fully explored. Um, it makes it hard when I continue to purchase more and I can't seem to stop myself from purchasing more. But I think it really made me decide that I need to go and examine all of my makeup, really dig into it and kind of, especially for the channel purposes, kind of really reevaluate the usage I am getting out of each of my products and um, which products are really quality and which ones are kind of, I could have avoided buying, if that makes sense. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of really fun for me to do and come up with. I really conceptualized this quickly today. I was at work thinking about it and I was like, you know what? There's a lot of products that I don't use enough of. So I decided that I wanted to just dig into, it happened to be that of, I picked six products originally, five of them were BoxyCharm, so I decided to just eliminate the six. I'll do that for another video because I'm sure I'll do a lot of these. It'll probably become like a mini series on my channel. Um, but yeah, so I'm challenging myself with this video to go ahead and use these products more often. Um, the Ciate London has been infiltrated into my big, big black bag of um, goodness that I use every day. And everything else I'm sure I'll be using a lot more of as well. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to our page, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, check out some of our other videos, see if there's anything that you like there. Hopefully there is. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly, but with the dark twist. Mwah.